Hello and welcome to the 60th video log here on my channel on YouTube. Last week we were in St. Johann in Pongau, which is a uh, ski resort in, in Austria, uh, for a brief customer visit. Um, we had a small workshop there and uh, the mountains around uh, St. Johann are just stunning. So let me show you some impressions. I think that actually misses something. Uh, it would be good if I could put some music under the, the footage. Um, let me think. Let me have a look at my two most favorite songs at the moment. Um, let's start with uh, Last Summer by Johnny Orlando. Oh well, um, that is actually copyright by Warner Music, so I can't use it. Maybe the next one will be good. Um, that's Vamo uh, Adali by Adexi Inau. Hmm, it's also copyrighted by Sony Music. I can't use that either. So what do I do? Oh, wait, there's Fritz. Fritz is a musician and friend of mine. And he gave me a list of music and MP3 files that I can use for my YouTube music, for my YouTube videos. So let's try again. Much better now, isn't it? Fritz, who's a friend of mine, gave me a license to use his music in my YouTube videos. That license is restricted to using it in my YouTube videos. Um, I can't sell the music, I can't broadcast the music. And that's all what copyright is about. Copyright means that an artist or a creator owns the right to his work. Very, very simple. Every artist, every creator can decide what to do with his or her work. Whether they want to share it freely, whether they want to make money out of it, it's their decision, not ours. I personally share all my stuff under a Creative Commons license, whether it's my videos, my photos, or my texts. Um, and that's what's called a free arts license, so you feel you're free to reuse uh, as you see fit, as long as you credit me for it. But that's my choice and it's for me it's a rather easy choice because a i have a good paying day job and b uh, my artistic abilities are nowhere near where it would need to be if i wanted to make money out of it so there are many other people who are trying to live from the arts they create who have the talent to be able to live from the arts that we create and that's what we need to protect and that's in a nutshell exactly what the copyright director from the eu is all about it's a, an attempt to protect all creators going forward in the digital market. What they're trying to do is to take the centuries-old copyright idea into the digital age. Are they doing a good job? Probably not. There are many, many things uh, that you can argue about. But is it necessary? Yes, it is. From my point of view, absolutely necessary. If we want to have artists, we need to make sure that they can live from their arts. The biggest player in this uh, discussion at the moment is YouTube. And if we look at uh, YouTube's Twitter, and especially at the English language Twitter, they have a very reasonable stance on it. They say, oh yes, we support the directive, but there are technical issues. And indeed, there are technical issues. If you read through the three versions of the articles that make up the directive, you will find that they indeed need work. Um, you can almost see that a lot of the people who have been working on the articles have either no idea of the internet, nor do they have an idea of what social media is, and much less have they any idea about what social media currently means in society. There is a lot of work to do to get this directive into a shape that it will work properly. And if you have an idea, spam your MEPs and help them to create a good directive. All this talk about censorship goes back to one of the initial texts uh, where they put forward the idea of an upload filter. That was a very ill-fated idea. It's long gone from the texts, but was still being perpetuated over and over and over again 
uh, by people who want to kill the copyright uh, mechanisms altogether. But let me state again, copyright is not something that benefits big corporations. It benefits every artist, every small artist, especially actually musicians. And, and that could be the guy sitting next to you in school or your local neighborhood garage band that desperately try, try to make a living from the art. The copyright directive is not about censoring the internet. The copyright directive is not about harming social media. It's all about making sure that artists who decide to get paid for their art can actually earn that money. And the decision of the artist to get paid is the artist's decision. It's your decision whether you pay him, but you cannot uh, just take the art away from him by saying, oh, it's fair use or we have always done that and so on. Right? It's the decision of the artist whether he wants to make the or he or she wants to make this available publicly or not. And it's not your decision. There is a, a German uh, channel, Wissenswert, who at one point really put on a lot of very heavy music and, and says, like, in which society do we want to live? And my answer to that is just, I don't want to live in a society where stealing is okay. Right? I want to live in a society where sharing is the norm, but it's the opposite direction. Also, the EU is not some bureaucratic monster. It's our government. And if you are of legal age, European, and didn't vote in the last European election, then too bad. Stop complaining. It's a parliament. So next time, shape Europe by going to vote. With that said, that's all for today. I hope you um, did, enjoy the, did enjoy the short movie. Uh, if you did, please do leave a like. Uh, I would really appreciate comments and, and hear from you what you're thinking about uh, Article 13 and Article 11 and the whole directive. And, and maybe I'm completely wrong. I'm always open to learn. Hope to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.